yeah hi everyone so in this video i will show you how to log in into the container so in the previous session we try to access the dashboard right so jenkins dashboard we have installed i mean we have created the jenkins container and we try to access the dashboard so initially we faced issue so thereafter i have enabled the 8080 host port from the security group then successfully we accessed the dashboard but it is asking the initial password correct so let me show you see this prompt is showing the initial process so obviously you have to get this initial password from the container so if you want to get information from the container so you can log in into the container then you can get it or else from the outside of the container also you can uh, get that uh, information uh, that's a different thing but uh, my intention is i want to show you how to log in into the container okay so let me show you so technically we are using this command so docker exec okay so docker exec so if you want to if you want to access uh, if you want to get in into container so how your interaction how you are getting into means interaction mode okay so iphone i interactively we are connecting to our container and t we have to use some terminal actually so bin bash terminals shells we have to use so how we are calling that shells means iphone t option terminal iphone i means interactively we are connecting to our container okay then container name okay so container name that's it guys then you have to provide that shell which shell you want to bin bash or bin sh whatever you want okay with the help of this command we are connecting thereafter so they are suggesting here under where jenkins home secrets initial admin password you can get that password and you can log in okay so let me go to my host mission this is my host mission so here my container is running see docker ps the container name is this one okay now i will get inside that container observe the screen so docker exec okay so docker exec iphone it then container name so what is the container name sktech jn then bin bash observe guys so before triggering the screen uh, observe the here also so normally this is the host mission root at the date sk technology host mission okay now see now it became a jenkins at the date some id this is the container id now i jumped into the container i logged in into the container now i am inside the container you can verify with who am i jenkins see jenkins id how i get in jenkins id now you can go and get this password it is under where okay so you can go do the cat see this is the password that's it guys you can go and try initial password initial admin password see now it is processing okay now it is processing so this is the way to get the inside the things the container so first you have to log in okay and you can verify you can verify the cpu see the host mission cpu these are the host mission let me take one more session let me log in the host mission i will compare because the container is taking the host mission resources only right so let me show you guys okay so let me switch to root so here you can go with the free iphone m see host mission but container also taking the same see this is the physical memory and this is the swap and this is the physical memory and this is a swap okay and you can verify with the ls cpu also okay so one cpu is there one cpu and here also you can go with ls cpu see one cpu okay so one cpu that's it
same physical resources only it is consuming and you can check the disk space also so here disk space 8 gb but it's a overlay file system actually okay so here disk 8 gb okay so namings are different but using the same disk space see? okay the value management we will see in the next video that's not an issue so there is a value management and uh, so your host mission resources only your container using so now you can go and check the processes also ps okay and the ps ef see this is the main process the first process this is the one okay and you logged in right this is also one process see it is bin bash process if you kill this okay if you kill this then you are only coming out of from the jenkins container if you in case if you kill this then everything will be stopped okay make sure guys this is also interview question okay i logged in uh, into the container if you do the exit what will be happening okay so it will only kill this if you go and check inside okay so then it will be killed okay so this is the way guys so this is the command to log in into the getting into the containers okay that's it for this video in the next video we will see the value management so inside the container how people are maintaining the values we will see thank you